a love for family. We just love to be together. Family will always come first. You always see Filipinos smiling, cheerful, and very happy. We work hard to achieve and to make things beautiful. Life is short, just be happy. Believe in yourself. Keep, love what you do and do what you love. A love for family. Family will always come first. I can think as far back as when I was three years old, probably. I started performing. Every time my uncle or my dad comes home with their pals, put me on top of a chair and I sing to them. <laughs> but uh, the first time I saw the movie West Side Story, I was probably eight, nine years old and I saw it. I went, oh my God, people do this for a living and uh, <laughs> this is amazing. I want to do that too. I, I grew up in Santo Domingo Church. I was one part of the Tiples de Santo Domingo. We sing every day at Mass. I breathe music because we, we're always learning new songs by, by Mozart and, and all that. And uh, so I, I, I've been singing. Um, so I, I feel like that was my formal, first formal training into singing. I think my first major role came after I, after I came back from London in 1992. I was offered to do Florante in Florante at Laura, the remake of, of the musical, and uh, which was great. I, I loved every minute of it. There was a lot of them. There were Cameron, there was uh, Claude Michel Schoenberg, there, there was uh, Alain Boublil, and Nick Heitner, the, the director. And so when, when I came in and I gave my, my headshot resume, they, they were surprised. So I, I think I remember Claude Michel going, uh, kind of like, all right, let's, let's let him sing. And he was writing down, and as soon as I, op I opened my mouth and started singing, he went. So it was, it was nice, it was, it was, and I saw it and went, okay, I'm doing something good. So I did three years in London. And then after that, I had to go home because the whole thing was getting strict. From there, I uh, did two years of theater in, in the Philippines, which is great because it gave me a lot more to put in my resume. And then from then, Cameron came back to audition for Germany. And Cameron asked me, are you sure you want to do this again? I said, yeah, sure, because I love the show. So from there, I, I went to Germany. And from Germany, I graduated from the ensemble to the first cast engineer. And I gave up on, a, on that dream, uh, the, the Broadway dream, a long time ago because I'm not young anymore and I'm not a dancer, but Cameron on, in 2013 decided to bring Miss Saigon to London and he hired me. Uh, from then on, uh, he asked me if I want to do Broadway and went, oh my God, the dream is not dead. It takes luck because there are a lot of actors out there, friends of mine, who are as hardworking, who are as talented, uh, you know, but can't catch a break. And I, I caught a break. So I was lucky because to call me, me if I don't acknowledge that, that's an insult to uh, a lot of my colleagues who are trying. I won the lottery when Cameron chose me to, to play Saigon in 2014. I think I, I, I won the lottery again when uh, I got uh, the assassination of Gianni Versace playing Modesto Cunanan. That was amazing. The script was so beautiful that the, the, the character, the role was amazing, for, especially for an a Asian actor. When I first read it, I'm like, oh my God, this is written for an Asian actor and a Filipino actor. I felt very blessed and also the, uh, the responsibility of playing it well and doing it really well. Because if I do that well, then I will help the cause of, of Asian actors, Filipino actors being noticed. And, getting involved in that, the, 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 uh, the, the conversation. He's such a giving actor and a giving person. I'm just grateful that he thought of me when the role of Modesto came up. Um, 
that he actually talked to the uh, the producers about me because he saw me in, in London doing Miss Saigon, and that went a long way. That that uh, stamp of approval from from Darren Chris and and the, the head writer uh, Tom Rob Smith. I'm grateful for him doing the show with my my daughter. That was that was amazing. Um, being on set with her and uh, so proud of her. She's so talented and she's so beautiful and she's such a, such a beautiful human being. Uh, I'm just so proud of her. My wife and I, we always talk about this. We were not that talented at that age. It's a big credit to, to my wife, the way, uh, and okay, I'll take some credit as well. I think we did well. She's only 19, but she's, I, I feel like we've prepared her for a lot of things. That, that this business will throw at you. Being a Filipino, I would rate my daughter one to 10, I would rate her, give her an 11, being a Filipino, because she's so connected with her, with her roots, and she's so proud of it. She's very proud of, of, of her Filipino heritage. So is my son, they're, they're, they love it, they're vocal about it. Being a doctor and being a lawyer and, and all that is good, but the arts give us soul. It just makes us, us more human. Being grounded, uh, I think it helped that they saw a struggle in the beginning, that <laughs> during the days when we can barely pay the rent. So they've seen that. They've seen the struggles of being an actor. And take my daughter, for example. She saw the, she, 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 she got scared about that. Uh, what if I choose this lane? But she asked herself and the answer was still, yes, I, I wanna do this. I was born and raised in Quezon City, Barangay Santa Cruz, sa tabi ng Pantranco, tabi ng Ilog. I will never forget where I came from um, because when I look back, I go, my God, well, how, how did I get here? I came from a poor family, from a poor neighborhood. I think it's possible if you have the passion. I will not change anything, uh, you know, what happened to me. Because all, all those things, all the hardships and all, all the, uh, I learned from them. I learned from all the, the, the failures and the mistakes. And, and I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get it right. You know, and, and hopefully someday I will. To think that I'm still learning, it's an amazing thing. Because once you, you, you think, ah, oh, I know it all, that's when you die inside and that's when your creativity dies.